part of being organized and using your iPad is to ensure that your data and information is safe. Normally you might have a simple passcode, a simple four digit number. This video is going to cover how to create a complex password. Let's get started. This iPad at the moment has no security at all. So when I put it to sleep and wake it from sleep, slide to unlock and there is no security involved and that's not really recommended. So to put passcodes in, simple or complex, go to settings and general and passcode lock. Turn passcode on. When you first set up a passcode, you do need to set a simple one first of all, which is just a four digit number. So let's put that in first, twice. And I have a simple passcode in. So when I put it to sleep and slide to unlock, then I get the four digits. So we go back into look at the settings on the passcode lock. At the moment, it says immediately. So as soon as the iPad is woken from sleep, before you can get past the lock screen, you've got to put in the passcode lock immediately. So let's go back and check that again. Slide to unlock. Immediately the code has to go in. I can't go any further without putting that code in. However, I'm going to turn that back off. With the control center, I can go straight into the camera, but I've, and, and I can still get into the control center as well without actually having to unlock the screen. So you might want to disable that as well. So let's just first of all go back in and have another look at, at uh, these settings. Putting in your password before you can make any changes. When it's locked, to uh, allow the use of Siri. And if you don't want your iPad to be tampered with in any way, then you disable that. Because at the moment, it's asleep. Turn it on and hold down the home key. Siri will work. I can bypass the, the security lock. Can't get into the iPad, but I can still use Siri. So if you don't want that to happen, you've got to disable that one. Requiring a passcode, it's at this point that you can change the time required for inputting the code to get onto the iPad. Uh, mine says immediately so that as soon as somebody tries to wake it, you have to put in the code. You're able to get into the iPad for a minute and then put the passcode in, you can do a bit of damage. Before we change it to the, to the complex passcode, some settings for the control center. So into the control center. And I've got access on lock screen turned on. So if I turn that off and then go back, put it to sleep, wake it up, I no longer can get into the control center. If I swipe up from the bottom of the screen, the control center will not work. I can still get into the camera and that's not going to be any security issue. So I can leave that, but I may not want to have the control center available. So I'm going to keep that one turned off. And so the point of this video is to put in a complex password. Once you've looked at all your settings, let's go back into general and into passcode lock. and change the simple passcode to a more complex passcode. So turn off simple and any changes you make, you've got to put your current password in. And now you can put in a combination of letters, characters, numbers, and have it as long as you like to make it a bit more complex and a bit harder to get into your iPad. I'm just going to put in a, a, a short one. And the, the main thing to remember here is that the longer it is, the, the longer time it's going to take you to get into your iPad all the time, which may be an issue. So that's been changed. So now when I turn it off and go back in, slide to unlock. So I'm confronted with the character keyboard, so I can enter in the passcode. It's done. And that may be a little more safer for you. 
if you want to turn it back off we go back into passcode lock enter in the existing passcode done and turn passcode off altogether or well, first of all change it back to simple and again you've got to put in the existing one now it's back to the simple passcode it does take a bit of time to get it off again I've got to put a new one back in just to change it to simple now I can turn it off so I have no passcode at all so I'm going to go back put it to sleep turn it on I still can't get the control center I've disabled that but if I'm moving my finger up from the bottom of this the screen can't get the control center I can get the camera no security so security is a matter of some importance and you really need some sort of passcode on your system a simple one at the very least a more complex password if you want to make sure that your data your information your apps uh, your sensitive information hasn't cannot be hacked that's all for this video